for you guys to know it's been a hectic long couple months i've been the whole summer without the g and unfortunately the first shop that i went to couldn't handle the workload the second shop this shop robbed me for so much money right now we're on the verge of suing them for about almost seven thousand dollars and 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 then i also just recently found out that these guys kept my z1 um um exhaust system so you know it's just a whole bunch of stuff that's missing a bunch of craziness so well, we're, we're shooting down to the shop to check on the g this for these guys over here where we're going at um al and max they have looked me out big time um if you guys are are interested of, of getting your g35 or 350z or 370z or g37 these guys know their shit. they do tuning they do custom motor they do custom turbo kits they do everything over here it's pretty cool so it's here there's al here's the g it's a real cooler let's open this bad boy up so let's see what there's the, for the nitrous. There's all the coolies. All the Z1 vacuum hoses. It's looking good. We decided to put it there because I don't want them popping a hole into this thing. This thing's 300 bucks. He did a banging job wrapping those headers. That looks so good. All Z1 hoses. You can see from like all the way across. So let's hope this works because the OEM will not work with this. It's just too big. So, so what it is, it needs to be straight. The 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 weird angle that the um, OEM radiator hose is, this won't work. They try to use it and it's just, this is just, this takes up too much room, you know, and then it's, it's a really, really tight fit, fit from inside. So it's a must to have this because these cars are known to get to get hot. Man, I can't wait to put those new wheels on this car. And then if you wonder about my gas cap, I sent it out to get it done in carbon fiber. So what a pretty view. Gotta put all these panels back on. Paint still holding up. Kiki boo, I see you. Can't wait till the gauge spot goes up. We're getting there, man. We're getting there. Panels is nothing that I can do that in about an hour. Put all the panels on. All the panels, I'm going to put them on myself, but I took them because some of it is a little scratched up. So I'm real picky when it comes to things like this. But yeah, the clutch is going to be, I'm going to be working those calves like a motherfucker. Clutch is, is, is a tight clutch. So. And then. 
Gears feel good. Real good. So. But only thing is left to put these panels back together, put everything back together. Um, so far it's been holding up pretty good in the sun. Um, so there's a couple things crashed up, so I'm gonna repaint, take it home with me. But this thing is so fucking nice. Look at, this, look at that work. K20. Trouble it out. All custom custom pipe. Another turbo one, two right there. Still here. So what you guys think? So this is nitrous, 150 shot. If you look, the nitrous is right between. There's the bottle. And this is one's boosted. So, and pretty much. You won't believe it, thunder has struck twice. So, um, I really haven't been putting it out. We paid the balance on the car three and a half weeks ago. He told me when I paid the balance, I can pick up the car the following week. So, and the car turned on, it was a misfire. It has some small issues to it. He said, oh, it was the test pipes, it was the oxygen sensor. We are, we bought those, replaced those. Um, now he's telling me it's the wire pipe. But I've spoken to other guys on the forums and said, that's not the wire pipe. You know what I mean? Um, you have a weird misfire. I'm working on your car no more. So that's exactly what he did. It's been almost a month since I gave him the money. Car's paid in full. Um, the the car's still misfiring. And now yesterday he told me that he don't want to no longer work on my car because it's too much drama. But no one started no drama. He purposely started drama. So like that, this whole situation can happen. So what I'm gonna do is I gotta be smart. I don't want I don't, I don't want the same thing to happen to the other shop. So right now it is 11 11. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna screen record my my text messages from him. Because like I said, I have to be smart. I'm gonna kiss ass. And, and then once I get my car, then I can go from there. All right, so check this out. I'm going to screenshot a couple of these things. But for now, right now, he sends me a picture, and I noticed that sleeve should be brand new. He never replaced that. That's the first thing that worried me was, wait a minute, you took a picture that you installed a test pipe, so, but why is that cylinder not um, not replaced with the new one I just bought? So so that, that was the red first red flag. Then he comes at me. You can clearly see what he's saying. This is what I tell him. Stated that I got ten thousand dollars into his car, telling me to start a new project. Like who gives him the right to say some some crazy nonsense like that? Like the guy is out of his mind. He's got some serious, serious anger issues. And I honestly think it's more 
because he, he works a regular job and he's come back to the shop to deal with the nonsense. So this is what I told him. Of course, he never did, he never did the gauges. He didn't care, he didn't really care to. One moment I started thinking I was the issue and there's no issue here it's just these little shops out here they they if they if they don't like you or you do another shop dirty they just they just don't, don't want to fuck with you you know what I mean and and people don't get it you know what I mean I'm like that shop did me dirty stole almost eight thousand dollars from me this guy charged me seventeen hundred and didn't and you know didn't finish the car so he same thing. He jacked seventeen hundred dollars from me. The, o the, o the only difference is, is that he put the car together, but it's still having his issues. I've kept every single um, text message we we ever had. Just people hitting me up, feeling bad, but it, it's all good. So that's the last thing I told him. Gotta, gotta play this game smart. That's it, and I'm writing them now. As you can see, he already, this guy's been planning this for a while. So look, and there's no way he did this today. He must have did this a couple of days ago. Um, so that's all the stuff he charged me for that he didn't install. At least I can say these guys didn't keep or steal any of my stuff. That I can give them. Like the other shop. They gave me back everything. So, but uh, I need to get over there, um, look through everything, and then go from there um, to make sure everything's there. Look, the gauges, never installed them. It just, I'm, I'm dumbfounded about this place, dumbfounded. I thought, I thought that I, I praise about that shopping him all the time. This is how they do me. 
unbelievable. So I'm hoping that he's gonna be willing to work on the car, finish the car, so like that they don't get a bad rep. I'm hoping that's that's the way, that's the route they're gonna take. I'm willing to wait another two weeks. That's actually a month and one week since they got paid in full. You know what I mean? Also, if, if they're willing to charge me for little things here and there, because I know shit like that's gonna happen, I'll pay for those things. You know what I mean? So I'm trying to work with these guys. So I'm hoping these guys are trying to work with me. The thing I don't like is the minute I gave them the money, literally everything changed. Everything changed. The guy was really disrespectful towards me, calling me a liar. Just he tried to start drama, so 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 that would give him a reason not to touch the car. You know what I mean? And that's what bothered me the most is damn. I thought me and him were really cool. I speak highly of this guy and this shop, and you guys know that. I always speak highly. You know what I mean? But the biggest mistake I made, and and I made it twice is you know the first mistake i made was central florida turbo when i gave them i paid it in full and again i made the same mistake and i paid it in full the only thing i can say to these these guys that i can't knock them is is that they put the car together you know what i mean um the, when the car went to them it was in pieces they put it together um but the but the car is not perfect when it turns on it has a misfire and and i'm hoping these guys can tell me some good news now um and, and tell me what issues the car is having. If they didn't fix it, you know what I mean? Or if they did, let's see what happens. You know what I mean? I'm gonna stay positive. I'm gonna be as friendly as possible because I I, I don't want the same situation to happen in the other shop. You know what I mean? I got I, I gotta play my car smart. So we're we're, we're about to pull in. And uh, let's hope for the best. Cause I'm not, I'm not here trying to like mess mess with these guys' business, but most definitely I, I don't want them messing with m messing with my my money. You know what I mean? Like this is crazy, man. You know this car's been here since May, and and I know when I bring it to them, there's a lot of things missing, and and I I thank them for finding all those pieces. But come on, man, you gotta just come come to reality, and and don't do someone dirty. You know what I mean? Cause that's what they're doing. So I'm I'm gonna hope for the best. These guys are gonna do the right thing. There's a car right there. So we're gonna see where these guys' characters is at. You know what I mean? So the car's right there. As you can see, it's got the hood open. So let's see. I'm gonna give them the, the benefit. There's a car there. I'll be back because you know, I'll most definitely wanna record, um, but I'm gonna also put my voice recording so, so I can record him telling me what problems the car has, still has when those problems should have got resolved from day one. So this is why I can't go single because of the bumper, as you can see. Top of this, that's gone. So by the looks of it, it looks like these guys ain't trying to fix shit. They just threw everything in there like the car was worthless. Yeah, so they threw everything in there. But that's the one. Threw that back in there. Well, I threw all my stuff back in there. All right, let's see what happens. Uh, I'm draining the battery. That battery was charged all the day fully. Well, that one day I was here, it was, it was turning right on, no problem. Something's draining the battery. There's something, something's draining the battery. That's another thing, another issue, like I said. It's something that needs to be diagnosed and checked. 
Yeah, I'll pick it up on Monday and then so like that because I, I want to be there when they're there. He said he'll look at it Monday. So I'm going to pick it up early in the morning. He opens that. Uh, I'm probably going to be here like between 8 and 9. Um, so I'll probably be on one of the parking spots and the key will probably be underneath the floor mat or something. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to open to like 9 30, 10 o'clock. So. Okay. It's 9 30, 10 o'clock. Will you be able to park it like over here in the corner? Yeah. Yeah, my flight will be good there because then when the tow truck comes, so we can just back up and just and just grab it and then, then we're good. All right, so today is Monday. So yeah, Saturday, I have to kiss a lot of ass and kind of keep this guy, like just kind of make him think that everything's cool between me and him. I was going to sue him and not go crazy wall, all this stuff. You know what I mean? So I can leave the car, um, pick the car up Monday. So we're here, um, they're closed. And man, like I said, um, it's a shame the way this guy did me, man. You know what I mean? Gave him that money and, and everything changed in a matter of seconds. Everything changed in a matter of seconds. So there's the G. Look at this shit. So the, it's still completely dead. He didn't care about fixing the issue. <clears throat> Just put a brand new alternator. There's the new alternator. I don't know if you can see it. Put a brand new spanking alternator. That cost me 200 and some odd dollars. So he didn't care to fix it. I gotta use, I gotta use the SUV to, to, to jump it. It's nuts, man. It's, it's, it's crazy how people will take your fucking money and and act like it's okay. You know what I mean? Like I said, this that's this got to be a down down south thing because up north, man, people won't even dare do some crazy shit like that. So just like the other shop, everything shoved in the fucking car. Unbelievable. So here's everything that he was supposed to install and didn't install. The gauges. He's been telling me for over a month that he's gonna install. He was scared to do the bushings. I don't know why. You know what I mean? He was scared to do the bushings. You know what I mean? I got all the suspension stuff that I, that I paid for and he was afraid to put it on because the car was rusted underneath. But you know, it's common with these cars. You know, um, cash can, never fucking did the cash can, and that's just, that's an easy, easy, easy install. Uh, a freaking, uh, a person with half a brain can do it. You know what I mean? It's just, it's ridiculous. And of course, the nitrous, he didn't finish it. You know, bad taste in my mouth, man. The only thing I, I can say about these people is they didn't steal none of my stuff. So what, what I looked everywhere and I don't see that one thing missing. They put everything, every single thing in here. So I can give them props on that. You know what I mean? But yeah, I give them props on, I don't have that one thing missing so far. Yep. 
So, going to another shop. Man, I got the worst luck with this car. Worst luck. These fuckers here, all I did was talk good about them, give them mad praise, and the minute he got my money, he did me straight dirty. And it's a shame, man, because I thought he was a good guy. And no. So I didn't want to take any chances with any other Orlando shops. They all got terrible reviews. So the, so the car is going, the guard, the car is going to Tampa. So I'm going, I'm taking it to uh, Forever Z. Those guys specialize in these cars. Right now the car is misfiring. We have no clue what's going on. So it is what it is. And just to take it to another shop, it's going to start all over and just continue taking my money. You know what I mean? So this shop, I heard some good things about it. Um, the guy's name is Doug. And I'm hoping he's he's super honest and he can find the problem. He told me it could be three things: either a, a, a bad bad injector, um, or uh, or or a bad um, ignition coil, or a um, uh, owl from over here. Ran, when he ran the harness, he ran the harness wrong. You know what I mean? And just and that's what's causing it. Or 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 the computer is bad. But it is what it is. I ain't gonna let it bother me. You know what I mean? Hopefully these guys take care of the car and um, we move forward. But I'm not gonna lie, I have the worst luck with this car. So he got here pretty much the same time I got here. Damn, these guys got 350s everywhere. That's what I'm talking about. These guys over here, man. So far, I'm blown away. Look at all these Nissans and Infinities. More over here. We got a couple of 240s. And of course, my bitch. At least that problem is resolved. There's a couple of things the other shop did that was incorrect. But these guys square it up.